goodness. What in the world am I gonna do with this truck? Man, every time I think I got something right, nothing's right. Truck, you just don't wanna work. Making dogs bark. I mean, I mean, come on, truck. What can I do to make this truck work the way it's supposed to? I bought distributors. I bought relays. I bought. I bought it all except taking it to a mechanic. Guess I can do that, right? I could. Uh, I could take you to a mechanic. I mean, I'm already being made fun of on YouTube. I mean, I can't even fix a little old truck. I got a hundred first star videos, but I can't make one running last week run again. Oh, good Lord, what a fool. If having fun was against the law, we would be guilty as charged. All we are is shady, shade tree mechanics from Butts County. Yep, the tail end of the world, just having fun. If you're interested in this kind of journey, come along. I'm David, I go by Rev here on YouTube. My daddy, also known as the old man, my wife, Nikki T. All we like to do is have fun and enjoy ourselves. So if you're interested in that journey, if you're interested in not learning how to do it, but just seeing the craziness of how we do it, come along for the journey here on Restoration. Well, hey y'all, up. Oh. Well, hey y'all, welcome back to Restoration. Uh, it's Friday morning, I got a little bit of time to play and uh, I've been doing some thinking. And uh, my thinking is, good Lord, what a Ford. I mean, this thing aggravates the hell out of me right now. Uh, y'all probably saw the monologue. Y'all probably saw the intro to the video. And uh, dog's still barking. But yep, here it is. You saw it on the last video. And yes, I'm still wanting to pull my hair out about this dog on truck. Uh, I was so mad at it, I drove it from down there up to here. And then I said I wasn't going to play around with it. So I went, uh, just a few days ago, I went to uh, drive it down there and I was going to drive it back to the house so that I could put the motor mount on it and then test drive it again and see if I got the rascal running. But guess what? she wouldn't crank and when she did she ran rough i mean just rough as a dick and blah, 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 like it was running on four cylinders and uh, then i said well hey i'm just gonna drive it back up here as long as i can so i limped it all the way back here and guess what now now she won't crank a lick i mean she won't do anything it's not pulsing now not all only to the ignition not only well the ignition is not pulsing at all now it was Y'all look at my garden. Whew. I mean, it don't look like much from here, but I still got okra. I got my collards going, got green, got peas, got corn, got peppers, got, oh, whoo, it's been good, y'all. It's been a good year. Um, but I'm gonna get this joker to where I know I can make it run. I mean, there's only one way I can do that. Now, what I could do is I could take it to a mechanic and say, mechanic, I got something electrical going on with this rascal, just find it for me. And then I could come back and I could show a video saying, y'all, look, I figured it out. It was this, nope, I ain't doing it. I'm an honest YouTuber. I, I, y'all can make fun of me if you want to. Yeah, I can't make my own truck start. It started before I tore the engine apart, now it won't start. But guess what old Rev can do? <laughs> I can put a carburetor on it. I most certainly can. So I bought an intake, I bought a distributor, and eventually, I haven't bought one yet, I'm gonna buy a full barrel carburetor for it. Um, man, them metal brocks, them hollies, I mean, full barrel carburetors are expensive. And I done spent way more than this truck is worth. So the Bronco's got a 4100 on it that ought to work. I'm gonna put it on there on this video and make sure it works. If it works, then maybe I'll go to the Jungle website, Amazon, which old Derek calls it, 
Derek calls it the jungle book and I'm gonna find it or I may go to eBay and get one or I may rebuild an Edelbrock I have or I may even splurge if it runs really good and go to the parts for and spend $459 or something like that for Edelbrock carburetor like I got on pudding uh, and put it on this one. You know what? It'll run. I can promise you it'll run. Now, does it still have a ground issue somewhere? Does it still have a wiring issue somewhere? Yep, it does. But guess what? <laughs> I don't care. Y'all see them? I, I didn't have the camera pointed in the right place. So I'm going to remedy all those wires. And then I'm going to put the battery back in here. And when I put it back in here, I'm going to turn it over and crank it. And what's going to happen is it's going to just turn over. And you're going to tell there's no spark. There's no fire. And we're just going to know that. We're just going to know that that's why I'm then going to take everything off the engine all the way down to the intake and come all the way back. I have my wires temporarily fixed, which means in restoration land, permanently done. Uh, probably not. I'll go in and I uh, oh, might put some tape on them. Uh, let's get them in here and I see what happened. But I'm going to get them out of the way. All right, they're out of the way. They're good. Got the old battery set in here. So uh, now we're going to get everything hooked up. Uh, that goes to the hot side. And this one goes to the dim side. Yep, I had the ignition left on, which is just laying in the floor. I got the ignition switch off the column, checking that. Old fuel pump's just a pumping and not cutting off, which ain't good. Uh... Let's see. Got my old starter switch right here. The light is red. Let's see. Don't that just bless your spirit? Well, I know 45 or 50 of you is going to send me a message and say, Rev, this is what it is. Uh, Y'all day late and a dollar short because uh, I've got what I need, I do believe, to start disassembling this rascal. So all this... All these wires, all these sensors will not be needed after I get done doing what I'm doing. So I'm gonna get it back on top dead center. I'm gonna start disassembling everything. Uh, first, I'm gonna drain my coolant uh, out of the engine, get all that drained so I don't get any more of that. So I don't have to change my oil. Probably will have to change my oil. But, uh, but I'm gonna get it down drained. And uh, after I get that done, I'm going to start just taking crap off crap. I'm going to say crap. That's what it is. I'm going to get all this crap off this Ford engine and put good stuff on it that I know will work. And boom. All right. Just so I can keep maybe a little bit of my YouTube mechanicing degree. I did get the leak to stop. Y'all look at there. That's, that's, it ain't leaking. <laughs> the engine ain't running, but it ain't dropping water. It ain't leaking at the intake. Now, I just got to take the intake off again. I hope it won't leak the second time because I'm going to use them same intake gaskets. Y'all don't get mad at me. I'm cheap. I do want Greta to know all this ain't nothing but this good old well water. Because when you work on stuff like I do and uh, you don't know if it's going to work, you ain't going to put no expensive water in there with that green stuff. You're just going to put the good old well water. Well, Porterdale water. City of Porterdale water. All right, first thing I want to do is get something that I can pry up under here and pop that off like that. This is going to pop off like that. Now these two, this and this, I'll be able to use on my carburetor. Hopefully, uh, this is pressure that goes down to the transmission, kind of like a knockdown gear, but it's not. So I need to figure out a way of mounting this so that these will work correctly on the carburetor. Uh, this is um, this is cruise control. Um, we won't be able to use cruise control with the carburetor, I don't think. All right, first piece off. All right, y'all. Moose and Nikki T. Say hey, Nikki T. Hi. All right, y'all. Moose and Nikki T came out. She took the day off, and what's her old sweet hubby doing? What's he doing? Working on a truck. Working on a third. That's what we do. Some say a turd. I would say that the same way. Moose, what you doing, homie? Moose, you want to say hey to him? No, or is that a yes? Get up here. Come on. Say hi. Get up here and say hey. Y'all, here's Moose. <laughs> hey, Moose, you <laughs> up? Oh, 
Moose saw something. Y'all y'all know how it is. He saw something. He's ready to take off. It was a squirrel. All right, I've got it back on top dead center. Uh, pointing to number one distributor. I mean, number one on the distributor. So I guess I can start pulling my wires, at least on one side. Get the distributor cap up and out of the way. Right, we pulled hoses. Now, pull distributor. Uh-oh, I lost both my clips off my old distributor again. Ooh, don't fall in the engine. It didn't. Uh, I don't think. I heard them both dingling. With the Costco three-step assist, I have the upper plenum loosened, but I also have lost my uh, uh, ratchet right there. Come on. It's hidden down in that crack. Man, don't do this aggravate you and stuff. Well, you know what I mean. Let's get this off. Sort of manhandling it. Look at there, y'all. I still had a ground hooked up. All right, y'all, the intake is off and loose. Let's see I can get the intake up and out. Is there another boat on there? Something else hooked up to it. What is it? Got channel wall in the back holding it. Oh, just bent that. Oh. that dog on good old channel wall back in the back was holding it that, that good grease I put down I got it so I dropped a little bit of water but man looking at those intake gaskets I may call them good some of y'all is going to be saying, Rev, don't be cheap. Just go buy some. And I might, just because I'm filming it on YouTube. All right, y'all, went back. I took my old gaskets off. I should have re I could have reused them, but I went and bought some more. Spent $25. Don't want nobody getting upset with me. So I'm going to go and put these on. Got the new intake uh, on. Have my china walls up and set up. So I'm ready to drop my new intake on. Of course, this is just a... Uh, uh, Amazon intake cheap dual plane I don't know if it's good or not but I'm putting it on it's aluminum it's a little bit lighter weight it puts a carburetor on this engine which is what I'm looking for so getting ready to drop this on get the screws down and snug and then I'm gonna go get my torque wrench get everything torqued and then I'll be ready to tell you what carburetor we're gonna put on this engine out. This one is much, much, much lighter. Right. Sit down. Got a little blue. Y'all, there's the intake. Woo -hoo -hoo. She looks a whole lot more normal. I can work on. Uh, let me be quiet. Now I got to put a distributor on it. And what did I get? Yep. I got one of them, uh, one of them old Chevrolet that's made to work on a Ford. I like it. The coil packs right on top. All I got to do is run switch power to it, and uh, and she sparks and arcs and all to run the way it's supposed to. So I'm gonna get down. I'm gonna. Uh, it's already on top dead center. I'm gonna get uh, number one close to where I want it, and uh, get it all wired up. And hey, we'll go from there. All right, issue number one, said distributor would not work with this monstrosity on top of it. So I got to take that off and get this little elbow just to go to my heater. Uh, so it'll bypass there, run to the heater. 
hope I don't have any other issue because the bottom of one distributor looks different than the bottom of the other distributor. <sighs> so let's resolve this. And then we're going to see if it'll work. That's all we can do. Red distributor is in. Uh, I still need to get a small elbow, and I do mean a small elbow, to come out of this. I hope I don't have to get a straight, something straight. Can't be real tall. Um, water port there. Uh, I guess now I'm ready for... What am I ready for? Uh, right now I'm ready for this uh, well I gotta go get that I guess I can put carburetor studs in uh, getting down to the nitty gritty I hope a full barrel will fit in there I know it's worked before but that one looks bigger the other one was blue and them big old rascals yeah I don't have my I don't have it in but it's uh, it's in hopefully it turns the oil pump hey y'all I got this bracket here that went on top of that that part of the plenum the intake and of course it wouldn't fit on what i need but i do need this hole you see that hole i need that hole for the transmission and i need one of these clips right here that will actually hold the throttle base in the right spot for the carburetor now do they make that to go on one of these nope probably don't uh they probably don't i found this in my stuff and it ain't right look at there it's going that way i mean that ain't right but you know what i'll do <laughs> i'll zip tie what i need to it and it's gonna work all right y'all this truck uh may burn down here in just a minute i hope it doesn't uh i'm probably doing this too fast but guess what i've been messing with this rascal for so long I have my carburetor hooked up. It's the worst Autolite 4100 carburetor we got in our shop. Um, but it was only one that I thought might work and suffice until I can get another carburetor to go on this. But this full barrel is here. I've got gas in the carburetor. I've got on these distributors, all you need is power running to uh, the top of the distributor and she should fire so i'm gonna hook this up when i hook that up i don't know what it did and then if i hit this i would think it would crank and fire i would think let's see <laughs> y'all didn't y'all didn't hear that did you you didn't oh that's Let's give her a squirt or two. Let's see. Come on, baby. Oh, dog, gone it. <laughs> that joke was running on five cylinders. Uh, I got three spark plugs. I ain't even got plugged up. That's how fast I'm going. I'm going to unplug this. And uh, let me get these wires hooked up and we'll crank her up, I hope. All right, y'all. Now I've got it all hooked up. Got the right fire in order. All right, got gas in the carburetor. Let's hit it. <laughs> Come on, baby. I got a bunch of vacuum leaks like crazy. All right, baby. Where we need to be. Seems like it lost fire there somehow. Got a carburetor issue. Gotta be. I can get it to run if I drop fluid right down the app. She'll run, run halfway decent. But, uh, I ain't got no water. I mean, I guess I could go on and buy a $400. I was wanting to hear it run before I did that, though. Y'all know what I mean? I was wanting to hear it. And I've heard it run. Y'all hadn't heard it run. And you wouldn't want to see how I'm getting it to run. Of course that's pudding running because it's charging a battery because i've been killing the battery all right y'all the base of that carburetor was broke and uh thanks is just sucking so much air and that was what was causing it i was having to really flood it to get it to fire and then when it would fire it sucked too much air get too much gas and it backfire that's gonna be what i'm hoping 
an old man has got an elder brock that i had uh purchased before he's bringing it to me the old man's gonna make an appearance i've got old pudding over here discharging batteries uh i'll show you what i got going here all right here it is the intake uh you can see she's flooded i tell the old man to the rescue he probably ain't too happy with me. He told me he told me I was uh, I was fussing at him the other day and didn't want him around. That had me all sad out here working by myself. That's why the truck ain't running. He ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> I know not to open my mouth. Man, that's an ugly carburetor. I forgot how ugly it was. All right, y'all, let's see if this ugly carburetor will work better than the broke carburetor. All right, y'all, we got the whole crew here. Even where she is, there she is, Nikki T. She's hot and ready to go for uh, for a date tonight. We got a date to Friday night lights. We going uh, to the your daughter's date's gonna be here in thirty minutes. I don't care. No, it's a boy <laughs> that actually his family watches the channel. So Connor, I've enjoyed meeting you. Reagan has really enjoyed meeting you. Nikki T has too. And uh, Connor, we're hoping this truck's going to run. Nikki T, you want to hold it? You ready? I'll wait till you get in there. Are you gonna crank it out here? Ah, uh, feels like nothing. Hey, what do you call a Frenchman that's being mauled by a lion? I don't know. Claude. I hear Claude. nothing going in, do you? <laughs> I don't hear nothing even but the squeak. <sighs> I don't think that cover is any good, y'all. I don't think it's putting any fuel in it at all. How'd that gas get in? <laughs> Come on, Betsy. You a bit? Let me squirt a little oh, bit. Yeah, huh? just hit it with a little. All right, that's nice. This carburetor ain't no good at all. Go spend $400 on the carburetor. This one ain't got an accelerator. I had to kill it. I had to kill it. I pulled we the could, wire out. Why didn't you have a take clip the, on I got to take the distributor out anyway. You move it one, two. Well, you need this to be over here. Make sure you can get to here. No, I and need reroute number one. No. Let's see if we're you doing it. You ain't got to pull the distributor out. Just I've move the wire. I got to pull the distributor out to put this in. Is what I'm saying. Oh. So. Tight right there, there, right? All right, y'all. We talked about there. Connor a minute ago. Here he what? is. He showed up. Yeah, we talked about him on the channel. We got her running. I still don't think we got a great carburetor, but at least it's running. We may tune on it a little bit. I have to get water to the engine tomorrow. I've got to get motor mount hooked up, and we got all these wires and all this mess we need to get gone. Y'all want to hear it run? <laughs> you got it this way too far. Turn mm. it back down. Other way. The ribbon, I think, is going to have to. You ain't got, your, you ain't got your spark advance hooked up. That's why it won't rev. If you 
wanting to rev it, you're gonna to have to put your spark advance to get it in perfect running. Today's Monday morning. Uh, I've got a meeting later today. I've got uh, another meeting, couple meetings on Tuesday. Have a funeral on Wednesday. Had a lady in the church, dear lady, had passed away. Uh, so we're most certainly are praying for that family. I was hoping to be able to work Saturday, but because of uh, many circumstances, was not able to get to it. I wish I was like them full time. Not really. I'm grateful. I'm a full time pastor. I'm honored to be able to serve the people God gives me to serve. Uh, but I don't have time like them full-time YouTubers uh, that can put 40 or 50 hours a week on a job. I got three or four, sometimes less than that I can put on a job. Uh, but we know uh, instead of spending a whole bunch of money uh, to go buy another one, actually $459 at O'Reilly's, I'm going to rebuild this one for about 20 bucks. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is set her down. I'm gonna get the outside halfway presentable. I'm gonna throw a kit in it. Let's see if it'll work. All right, y'all, for initial cleaning, I think it came off all right. So what I'm gonna do is blow all this air off and start taking her apart. All right, y'all, I have, um, I wanna let you know, y'all know I'm a carburetor pro. I mean, I can do, I have, I have rebuilt um how many edelbrock carburetors have i rebuilt oh probably around zero yeah i ain't never rebuilt one but i'm sure because i've rebuilt hundreds of other carburetors mostly ford flavor that i can make it through this edelbrock so i'm gonna tell you the first few things i'm gonna do and we'll go from there of course i think we have metering blocks here i got them get those out get the accelerator pump here uh, disconnected and unhooked. I may take off some of these accessories that are not needed. And then I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to explode this rascal and get it disassembled, get it cleaned and get my Amazon, that's Amazon's part number, uh, get my Amazon kit put in it. Is it a good kit or not? We'll find out. All right, y'all, because I build so many, um, rebuild so many carburetors i just want to give you a little piece of advice now once again i'm not giving any advice on how to rebuild an edelbrock my edelbrock is broken i'm not giving any advice on how to rebuild uh this edelbrock and make it right because i ain't ever made one right so i ain't gonna act like i know exactly how to do this but i, I have rebuilt a bunch of carburetors and there are a few pieces of advice that i think are really important um one when you're taking the carburetor apart, especially one that you're not uber familiar with and not done it a million times, it's good to put like pieces together. Of course, I'm going to clean these, but all this goes to the accelerator pump. So I don't want to be, you know, three months in thinking, well, where, where does this go? Where does this go? So I put it all together on my table. So when I go to put it back together here in a little while, I will, I'll know this goes here. This goes, you know, if I know this is here and this is here, then I'll know all these other pieces go here as well. Now, that may not seem all that important to y'all, but when you're knee deep in it and you're missing a part and don't know where something goes, that may help. All right, here it is uh, blowed up. Of course, not, uh, not bad. Of course, we want to check and make sure that, that that's weighted. We want to make sure it falls back and it does but look at here <laughs> had a leaf down in it um so she's not super dirty um i think i'll throw a kid in it it was actually running everything except the accelerator pump and uh, i think we can get all of it clean and put back together and she should should work should work fine all right y'all carb has been rebuilt uh, of course I would have been disappointed if I got this back having the car restored. But y'all, the kit's in it. All the ports are clean. If it was ever going to work, it should work now. All right, y'all. I don't know how much I'll be able to do uh, today. Got the carburetor on. I uh, adjusted on the timing. The timing was where, you know, how well, you moved your timing over and it, you needed to go a little bit further, but you couldn't. So I moved my wires around. Uh, I, I've got it to where she runs halfway decent. I uh, put water in it, and y'all know what? I got a leak. Uh, yeah, this uh, intake that I put on is not accepting uh, the aftermarket water temperature sending unit, which is the long one. So I've got to either go find 
uh, an extension, a piece of plumbing that'll actually make it, uh, you know, give it a little bit more room so it'll seat. It's not seating and sealing. Uh, so because of that, it's not gonna work. But I wanna try, see if I can fill up my carburetor with my old Eugene bottle. And yeah, I'm running it with oil. And I just wanna turn it on and let y'all hear it run. Simon maybe advanced a little bit too much. You heard it kind of hit. Got water in it. Gotta get a bigger vacuum hose. She ain't running great, but I ain't really tuned on her. I'm gonna tell y'all what, she's running a whole lot better than she was with that EFI system on it. So I had to get a, of course I knew I had to do this. I'm gonna have to plumb it up a little bit differently. I know that, but I got it to where I could see it. Uh, so you might not can notice this, but of course got fuel there. It's probably not good for us, right? To have the fuel line uh, going across the engine. I'm gonna line it up back there. Uh, probably shouldn't be on the firewall either, uh, but that's the way we're gonna have it done. Uh, I'm gonna turn my ignition on here. Uh, ignition is on run now. Let's see if she'll crank. Oh, she's too far advanced. Let's back her off a little bit. Backfired a little bit. She's loading up. I think I still got a little bit more work to do. But, uh, keep running, y'all. Oh, over here on this side. I may get a fancy. Still a little dead spot right there. I bought JC up here. I wanted to show him the progress that we have made. Uh, that, of course, you hear your fuel pump. I got the ignition on inside. When you cut the ignition off, it'll go off. Um, but you might be the only 87 F-150 that's got a button push start. Push start, son. <laughs> Woo! He likes to do that, y'all. He likes to make it. Here I am again. Uh, it's been crazy. Uh, I guess since we last saw you, uh, I've been in the hospital, not me, visiting patients in the hospital, church members. Uh, I was in the hospital making a visit this morning. Had a lady, had a fall. Uh, been, you know, praying, visiting them. Uh, preached a funeral. I'm back, here I am. So uh, so what we're gonna do now is, uh, I said all that to say, I don't have abundance of time being in ministry. So y'all forgive me, I wanna make videos, I wanna make content, I wanna get it done. Uh, well, that's my calling. I uh, love people, I'm gonna serve uh, the church and uh, when time comes available, we're gonna get back on this old rig. Uh, I'm gonna put, I'm, it, it's gonna be not Puddin's Fab Shop, it's gonna be Rayo's Fab Shop today. I wanna turn this, this bracket, which sorta will be okay-ish, put it and this together and make a bracket that'll work with this carburetor because of course this goes to the transmission, it's like a knockdown gear, but it's not. It does pressure inside of the transmission to tell it when to change gears, I assume. So we got to hook that up. Already got it hooked up to the bottom of the carburetor, trying to find out where it falls here. And then we've got to get our uh, foot feed, which is way down here. Um, we got to get it to hook up so it'll work with the carburetor. Got this ugly bracket on. Of course, that ugly bracket will do exactly what it's supposed to. It might not look pretty, um, but she'll work. Uh, but look at here. Look at look at here. Oh, look at that. I'm lost fire. <laughs> oh, H-E-I distributor and ain't got fire. 
Can you believe it? I can't either. I'm so disappointed. And guess what? I went and bought one from O'Reilly's. Didn't even look in the box. I got it over here and they dropped it on the corner. Whole corner of the thing was all folded up. It didn't work either. So got another one on order. But I got a meeting I got to get to. I got to go wash under my arms and put on some nicer clothes and go to a, go to a meeting, me and Nikki T. I guess I'll get to it tomorrow. All right, y'all. The next day, uh, thank goodness I uh, got a little bit of time to work on the truck this morning. I went by uh, yesterday. I bought a coal. Uh, the coal had been dropped there at O'Reilly's when I got it back home. The whole corner of it, the piece was all jacked up so i said hey give me another one uh they got me another one of course i put it on still didn't crank so i said well it's got to be the module of the pickup in this ati distributor that i burn up like everything else in this truck um put a module on it boy she fired right up so i have uh i got another distributor on order because uh, we need a video and i gotta finish this rascal oh uh, so of course i put the old coil back on it the one that was originally working i need to put the cap on it uh man look at that y'all i mean it ain't perfect but you know what it is it's done and it works i can get the foot feed inside and she moves so uh she's ready she cranks from the inside i'm not going to show you my wiring job uh to get it to crank from the inside but now it does without burning anything up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get it down there i'm going to get it to the house down on some concrete so i can jack it up and put my motor mat on and then i'm gonna tune her up time it up i'm gonna do some vacuum testing on the carburetor and get it right get the timing right get it set where it'll go and then bless goodness we going boogie in this truck so my goal is to move this thing and i know uh she ain't tuned up quite right well radio works still yeah, she ain't tuned up quite right. Well, let's see if we can get her to back up. Oh, fire steering still works, that's good. Oh yeah, something carburetor, something ain't quite right on it. Oh yeah, she doesn't shut down on me. Oh, gone it. Got her in dry. She's moving. <laughs> I want to put it on the road, y'all. Should I? I don't think I do. I'm gonna go try to tune her up some. Get her motor mount on it. Let's do it right for once. All right, y'all. I think I got her tuned up. Uh, is she perfect? Probably not. Uh, but is she perfect enough for me to drive right now? Yes, she is. Uh, I'm on a, I, I'm, I'm taking stuff out that we really don't need any longer. Uh, getting it out and out of the way. There's a lot of things I can remove now. I'm going to get the computer back where it needs to be. When I get all of that squared away, then I'm going to put my motor mounts on it and, uh, hopefully take her for a test drive. That's my goal today and finish this doggone video. Still got more to do. The engine bay looks so much like, uh, like a like an engine bay like it should you know carburetor decent distributor that works uh air conditioner needs to be plugged in of course i've got look at all this jumbled mess who in the world wants all that in their car uh i could snip wires and do all that but i don't trust myself not to snip something that i shouldn't uh, i'm gonna get the computer put back to where it needs to be i'm gonna try to decorate that as well as i could i still got more stuff that i can remove but hey y'all this is an engine and this is how a doggone engine's supposed to look. This an engine. We don't need all this other mess all on. I mean, that's, that's, tell me y'all, I should have bought this truck and immediately done this. Major issue of wanting to test stuff before I should. Um, I don't have a broke motor mount. I got a motor mount with two bolts missing. So I gotta go get some bolts. Cranks up. It goes into gear. She's hopping a little bit. Ugh. Oh, we gotta shut the door. Bring her 
brakes still work. That's good. We always got 7,400 cars coming right here in our driveway. Under still roll down, that's good. Transmission still ain't good. Maybe I still need to go buy a computer for it. All right, y'all, listen to how. Woo, she's running good with a carburetor on it. Just as long as you don't put it in drive or expect it to go down the road. Y'all, this truck has aggravated the doggone hell out of me. Uh, I don't know if I still got a computer issues. I don't know if the transmission is not working right. I'm not gonna be working on this truck the next video that I share, I promise. I'm gonna be doing something different. I don't know what that something different is. I may be digging a hole in the ground, but I ain't gonna be working on this truck. But if y'all have watched these last two episodes of my heartache with this truck, I, uh, I appreciate y'all watching. I mean, it's been sad, uh, sad mechanic. And well, y'all rev failed again. I mean, I got the truck running, idling, as slick as a whistle, carburetor running good, but you put it in a bind and that transmission just go blah, 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 and the engine, I don't know what in the heavens is wrong with it. Something is. I may have a good lord, what a Ford for sale. I mean, I'm on, y'all need to sub to the channel if you're not, comment, cause uh, looks like I'm gonna have to buy another rig and making two videos a month cause this rascal's taking all my doggone time. Uh, I ain't getting no ad revenue to be able to buy him a old truck. I gotta, I gotta do something y'all. I gotta find a boy, he's driving a, he's driving his mama's car. We gotta, he's driving in one of his mama's cars. So we gotta figure that out. But I'm a man of my word, even though I'm not a good mechanic. I told y'all on the last uh, on the last comment on the community page that whoever guessed it, I'd shout them out. Well, the first one uh, that guessed it, I believe it's right, is uh, After Five Auto said, putting the carburetor on the F-150. That is right. Rick Grimes right after him. Deleting all the EFI garbage and going carburetor. Yep, that's right. Uh, let's see, some others. Uh, I think I see an Autolite 41 in the F-150 future with BAA Sports. You are correct. It stayed on there for just a minute. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't good. Uh, user IR9F, four barrel conversion, only way to go. Uh, other, uh, I guess other than uh, praying for the truck. Yeah, I agree to that. Let's see, I think there were some more. Uh, you're removing the EFI, uh, Big Jim, that's right uh let's see uh so many others that i have uh that i've saw that talked about that uh, but y'all guessed it a lot of y'all did some of y'all had some other ideas and it wasn't that but hey i appreciate y'all uh those of you those ogs and all of you that come back and watch the channel man it is truly a blessing to us so i want to thank y'all for watching for me and the old man nikki t jc and reagan we love y'all we appreciate you so very much watching our our unmechanican, but I sure enough appreciate y'all. We love you. We thank you for watching. We know no way of closing out any of these videos and saying deuces. Hey, God bless. Hey, we want to thank y'all again for watching this video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you can do so by clicking this button down below, or you can watch a video that may be suited for you or a recent upload uh, here down below. So once again, we thank you for watching. Deuces. May God bless.